I wanted to stay in a kind of a big academic, busy medical center. And I was looking around across the country and it really hit home that there is a huge emphasis on academia and academic medicine, but also a huge emphasis on clinical medicine and taking care of patients here at Columbia. So there are four uh, heart failure teams collectively at Columbia, and I think that speaks to the breadth and depth of the program. I love the heart failure rotations here at Columbia because I think they are great opportunities to get to know our patients and develop relationships with them over the trajectory of their illness. And I think that the fellow is uniquely positioned to advocate for them. One of the things I enjoy most about being at Columbia is the opportunity to have exposure to the brilliant young fellow. The cath rotation offers the fellow the opportunity to gain fundamental skills in diagnostic and interventional cardiology. The fellows learn uh, from a number of uh, world around interventionalists who have training and expertise in valvular, complex coronary, and endovascular interventions. The peripheral vascular team is a fairly robust group. The pulmonary embolism response team is a subgroup of this and they see a wide variety of deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism cases and they do a wide variety of interventions. I really believe that if you come to Columbia uh, for the purpose of getting expertise in interventional cardiology, you're going to the best place in the world. The best thing about the ECHO rotation is it's an opportunity to learn an entirely new set of skills. We're a referral center for the tri-state area, so we see a lot of interesting valvular pathology. We're also a large LVAD center, so we end up seeing a lot of LVADs and different mechanical uh, circulatory support. So it's really a great opportunity to see the full breadth and depth of uh, cardiology. During our nuclear rotation, we are absolutely integral to the operations of the nuclear lab. And we do pharmacologic and exercise stress tests. We also do PYP scans and PET scans. There really is a lot of time spent hand in hand with the attending. The role of the fellow on the EP service is extensive. The general fellow manages all of the inpatient consults as well as the device interrogations. One day per week, the general fellow gets the opportunity to spend the day in the EP lab. Getting a lot of time to just work in the EP lab and get that exposure, I don't think I really would have had the chance to get elsewhere. I think the uh, CCU experience here at Columbia for the fellows is, is really an outstanding experience. We have 28 CCU beds, all of which are covered by our uh, cardiology fellows. I find the teaching in the, the CCU is really outstanding. I think it starts with having two attendings integrated into our rounds. You really get a variety of perspectives. The fellows really uh, obtain a, a tremendous clinical experience and really very strong training in critical care cardiology. The Adult Congenital Heart Disease program here at Columbia is one of the oldest and largest in the United States. It's actually the only program in the New York City area that has uh, an ACGME accredited uh, training program for a super fellowship. I'm really excited about uh, the non-invasive education in vascular medicine. As part of the vascular rotation, in addition to going to the uh, interventional lab, we have the opportunity to read vascular studies with the, the non-invasive vascular group and follow these patients both uh, as an inpatient when, when they're in the hospital and, and their own clinics uh, when, they, when they get to be outpatients. The CT and MR rotation uh, is a two-week block occurring during one of the clinical years and it's actually a really nice opportunity to get to know our chest radiologists, to uh, get their uh, radiologist perspective on cardiac imaging, to build relationships that uh, continues to persist uh, through your uh, clinical training. Morning Report is a really special conference. Dr. Alan Schwartz, who's our Chief of Cardiology, attends uh, almost every single Morning Report, which is, I think, a pretty unique aspect to our program. So during the summer, we particularly gear our lectures to introductory topics in cardiology um, and cardiac emergencies as sort of our summer boot camp for the first year fellows um, to really try to make sure that once you're in there taking call, you feel ready for anything. As a cardiology fellow on call, you are the cardiac specialist in the hospital. Your role extends to um, covering the, the CCUs, uh, to covering all the consults, the STEMI pager, uh, the EP pager as well. 
The volume is high in our hospital and the acuity of the patients can be rather remarkable, but we all feel that there's an abundance of support. I love living in New York City. There's always so much to do, so many different cultures and people, a lot of restaurants, indoor, outdoor activities. Initially coming out to New York City from the Midwest, of course, is gonna be intimidating. My initial apprehensions were really put aside in the first week moving here. Most fellows live on the Upper West Side, which is a convenient train ride to the hospital here. Other fellows tend to live near the hospital. You can get a little bit more space if you have a family, which a lot of our fellows do. It's awesome to have a family in New York. We live a block away from Central Park with plenty of uh, playgrounds and ponds. We have uh, the Museum of Natural History and we're pretty close to the Central Park Zoo. It just makes it so easy for us.